I discovered something recently that I would like to share with you. It is the origin of why we use these symbols for up bow and down bow. Ever wonder why? Now you will find many different explanations. For instance, one incorrect one is that the down bow resembles this and the up bow is sort of like this, the tip of the bow. And that has nothing to do with the reality. And in this video, I'm going to share with you where these symbols came from, their origins, and why we use them. We first need to forget the idea that this is a down and up motion, because certainly on the cello, you're not moving down and up. You're moving right and left. What is true is that when you move toward the right, you are pulling. And when you move toward the left, you are pushing. And in France, I learned that the French say tirer and pousser. It's much more accurate. We can now ask the question, well, did bowing technique become standardized in France? And the answer is absolutely. We have Jean-Baptiste Lully to thank for this. He was the court composer for Louis XIV. And it was because of him and his style of playing that we perform in the manner that we do today in a very uniform and standardized rules, if you will, of bowing. And because music in the Baroque era was mostly dance-oriented music, a minuet, a boré, a gigue, an allemand, they are all dances. Le roi danse! Rhythm is something that you feel, and when you want someone to dance, there needs to be extra emphasis on certain beats in the music. Hence the way that Lully had his orchestras play lent itself to a very clear understanding of what dance was being played. Jörg Mufa, which was a German organist, was the first non-French person to diffuse this into the world. In 1698, in his Florilegium Segundum. Sorry about that. <laughs> if I mispronounced that incorrectly, I'm not good in Latin. In Jörg's own words, he described the French Lullian manner of bowing as, it focuses on what is most pleasing to the ear, and it indicates the meter of dance so exactly that one can immediately recognize the type of piece and can feel the impulse to dance in one's heart and feet at the same time. Yes, it is thanks to this guy that we play the way we do. We have these up bows. We have these rules of up bows on the upbeat and down bows on the downbeat. We play every down bow in a noble fashion that needed to be emphasized. And the up bow was more, well, less noble. So if you think about that, noble, not noble, important, not so important. If we look back at these symbols, noble slowly became this symbol and the villus became that symbol. And that is why we use these symbols when it comes to cello bow technique. So thank you for watching my video. Subscribe, share, like if you learned something, and I'm very happy that you have included this channel on your own journey of music discovery. Bye-bye.